All right, everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. Thanks for stopping by. You can see today's question there in front of you. It is calculate the volume of the tank below in both imperial gallons and US gallons. So that tank down there, and it is 41.99 cubic feet is the volume of that. We actually calculated that in another video. If you want to check that one out, I'll put the link down below but it ends up being 41.99 cubic feet. Now, remember that this thing is 80% full as well. Before we do that, we're just gonna throw down a little background info, okay? Kinda get it set up for the question. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cubic foot. There we go. And we're gonna fill that sucker up with water. And then what we need to do here, let's find the weight of a cubic foot of water, okay? Let's find the weight. And what it is, is 62.4 pounds. Hey, you, the guy that's putting all the figures in here, the drawings, the animations, put the right one in. That's the British pound. No, that's the euro. Put the right one in. Come on, stay with me here. Okay, thank you. So 62.4 pounds. Try to keep up from now on, would you? Okay, sometimes it's hard to get good help around here. Now, one cubic foot has 6.24 imperial gallons. So if we were to take a container that was an exact imperial gallon, we would get one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and a little bit out of that full cubic foot. Now let's go, let's have a little background info. Not background info, bonus info is what I'm talking about here. Remember, cubic foot is 62.4 pounds, all right? That's this key stat in this thing. Now, one imperial gallon, that weighs 10 pounds. And we were able to pull 6.24 imperial gallons out of that cubic foot. Well, if each one of those weighs 10 pounds, what do we get? 62.4 pounds. You got it. It's all coming together here, right? Perfect. So there's your imperial gallons. Now let's go. We'll get the cubic foot back. What we're going to do now is the U.S. gallon. And what we'll find out, if we took a container that could be filled with one U.S. gallon, we would get 7.48 of them from a cubic foot. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0.48. All right? Now, let's once again throw down some bonus info. One U.S. gallon, it weighs a little bit less than an imperial gallon. It weighs 8.33 pounds. Same thing. There's 7.48 of them in a cubic foot. Each of them weighs 8.33 pounds for a total of, you guessed it, 62.4 pounds. So they all relate to each other and they, all the numbers kind of come together in that 62.4 pound scenario. Okay, a couple more things. Let's relate imperial to U.S. So, what we want to say, or what we want to understand, is an imperial gallon is larger than a U.S. gallon. In fact, it's 1.2 times larger, or in a sense, 20% larger. So, if you take one U.S. gallon, you multiply that by 1.2, okay, you're going to get one imperial gallon. And if we go back to our idea here, 6.24 times 1.2, you guessed it, it's going to be 7.48. All right, now after all of that background info, we can go back and figure out how many imperial gallons and U.S. gallons we have. We'll start with imperial gallons. And we'll say what we have is the number of cubic feet, 41.99, how many imperial gallons in a cubic foot, 6.24, so we have a total of 262.02 .02 imperial gallons in that tank. We can do the same thing for U.S. gallons, okay? What we do, 41.99, now we multiply it by the 7.48, 314.09. That's it. That is imperial gallons, U.S. gallons, a cubic foot, all with water. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Good luck with your studies.